Hello again, it's Vic here at the Armourer's Bench. What lovely toy have I brought you today? Well, if you haven't already recognised it, this is quite a, a, a rare, never seen in public uh, rifle. It's the Steyr uh, entry into the US ACR program. Um, it is a flechette firing rifle. Now, with it being Steyr, it has an awful lot of design clues that look very similar to the AUG. For instance, the pistol grip, very AUG. The magazine, again, a clear polymer magazine. This time it fires a, 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 a flesh out round, but the magazine release is the same as the AUG. Push up and the magazine comes clear. Optical sight fitted as standard. The difference with this weapon is it was a salvo firing uh, rifle that fired uh, flesh out darts at a high cyclic rate. The data on that will show you in a, a, a cutaway. Um, but we'd like to show you this rifle. It's quite a handy little um, rifle. Um, it shoulders quite well. The optical sight I think is much better than the uh, AUG um, because it's a, a larger aperture. Um, quite, quite how effective it would be I don't really know because I haven't had the opportunity to fire it because we don't have any ammunition for it. Um, it's quite light. The ergonomics are quite good. It shoulders okay. Cocking is very much like the uh, M16 but very stiff. It fires from an open bolt. One thing that I've found uh, is that the uh, magazine, it isn't particularly obvious how it fits because it's very symmetrical. Uh, whereas on an AUG magazine, it's curved and obviously the short side of the curve goes to the front. This is vertical because the um, flesh out rounds are cylindrical, perfectly cylindrical. They don't taper, they're plastic. The gun itself, like I say, shoulders all right. Um, the optical sights are quite clear. It's a AUG type sight with a black circle with a, uh, a hole in it. The action um, is quite sturdy. There is a safety, push through safety here, a la the uh, AUG. Flash hider, very similar to a, a M16 type flash hider. Um, I cannot strip this because I don't have the information as to how to do it, but I can take the butt off, which shows you some of the mechanism. Drop the magazine, press in in the button, button on the top here, and the whole of the buttstock slides off. And it uses a vertical sliding breech, which is here. So this is the breech, the chamber is here. This is the action. If I cock it, we see that the action moves to the rear and this camming surface moves the breech assembly down. We see that in close up. So when the weapon is fired, everything moves forward. Okay, let's do some close up. Okay, here we have the uh, breech mechanism on the Steyr ACR. This is the breech here and this is the falling block that picks up the rounds. If we cock the mechanism you'll see how it works. Now you can see this action extension has come out and this cam track has moved the breech block down into the load position which strips and picks up a round and when you fire it from an open bolt it lifts the breech and fires the round in here. This red sleeve is part of the gas mechanism which if we could strip it we could have a look at. We'll revisit this at a later date and see how we can put it, see how the action actually works. If we take the action here and you see this extension and pull the trigger it moves forward, lifts the breech, chambers around, fires it. That would then cause the gas to blow the action back. We'll strip this at a later date when we find 
out how to do it and, uh, and work out how the action actually goes. In the meanwhile, let me put this back together. I hope you like that brief overview of the Steyr ACR rifle. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share to our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye now.